All right, one of our most popular setups we see out there on the streets and we see come through our shop is one of these SNS 128 setups. Want to go over a couple of things. We get a lot of questions on cams and heads on these motors, and I want to break down the different setups. The most popular builds we see is the SNS 550 cam that comes in the power pack. Now, our power pack is the same setup, but what's different about the Moonshine Horsepower 120 power pack is it does not come with a camshaft. And the reason being is we do a lot of these with stock heads because they make 135 horsepower plus with a stock head, and we designed our MHP 492 camshaft to pair with MHP SNS 120 power pack to maximize stock heads. But this video is for if you're buying one of these power packs and you're gonna be running a pair of ported heads. And the data we have is from our Street Fighter head that Frankenstein Engine Dynamics does for our shop. The heads we're running on them is the 1.5 millimeter oversized valve heads that are ported and we take them to a 90cc head and a 93. And I'll break down why we have two different combustion chambers for those heads here in a second. But the cams running in these, when we're running a head, not a stock head once again, all of these cams I'm gonna mention are for when you have a really good pair of ported heads. The SNS piston that comes in your power pack kit has a dish in it. You can see it, it's not above the deck, it's a little dish around this circle, slight dish, really nice, really smooth. It is a negative 7.cc dish. And that's designed to work with a short closed cam. So a SNS 550 camshaft and a Zippers 552, both are closing right around 31 degrees. When they're closing at 31 degrees, you're making roughly 10.9 to one corrected compression. And corrected compression takes the valve timing in, how much air you're trapping after your intake valve closes. Now there's another cam we like to run in this setup that makes a little more peak power up top, and it is the Fueling 592 camshaft. So all three of those camshafts are 11.8, 11, 11.9 11, to one corrected compression with a 90cc head, the head gasket that comes supplied from SNS, which is a 30 thousandths head gasket. Now, if you want more horsepower than those three cams, those are great off idle camshaft with a pair of ported heads. It's a great camshaft for middle and they make great power. But if you're wanting more horsepower on the top, a little bit more later in the mid of your graph, we have options with camshafts like a Star Racing three quarter cam. We have the MHP 588 camshaft and we have a Ward Performance 550. So to break those down, the Star Racing three quarter cam closes at 42 degrees, okay? The Moonshine 588 closes at 44 degrees and the Ward Performance 550 closes at 48. So you're in the 40s, you're 42 to 48, as opposed to the cams that we talked about earlier, which was the SNS 550, it was the Zippers 552 and the Fueling, those are closing between 31 and 34 degrees. So these cams are closing eight to 14 degrees later. That's, that's a lot. You know, 10 degrees is a lot more for the valve to be open before it closes. So when we run one of those camshafts, we take the same Street Fighter head on the motor and we go from a 90cc to a 93. The reason why we open them up to 93 cc's is we're able to unshroud the valve and make a better, smoother flowing combustion chamber. When we do that, we also pair it with the Moonshine Horsepower 4.250 bore piston. This is an X forging from CP Carrillo. And we are having the extra dome paired with that guy so we get the corrected compression back to a 10.8 to 11 to one corrected compression on these late closing cams. They are gonna make more horsepower up top. Um, the two motors, if you're riding with your wife and you're loaded down, we want you running this piston with one of those smaller three cams. If you're a ripper, you're gonna be trying to outrun your buddies and really playing with the bike and keeping up in the RPMs, we're going to the setup and the larger cams, the longer duration setup. When we swap out this piston, it's just a better forged piston. The X forging has some benefits in it. We can now go to a pin that's not as wide because it's a little lighter pin. And 
we can make some webbing in the piston, get the weight back here and stabilize the piston with a stronger piston setup as opposed to that. So stronger piston, a little bit narrower pin in it, and it's a little bit of weight reduction. Sometimes it's actually the same weight, but the overall setup is a stiffer product in the pin and the extra webbing here on the outside of the piston. So that's why we do that. Next thing we do is we go from a 30 thousandths head gasket to a 40 thousandths head gasket. So both of these head gaskets are made by Kometic. We're just swapping out. We need a little bit more there. Uh, you get a little bit more clamp. They squish a little bit more on a 40 thousandths than a 30, we've noticed, and they seem to hold up really well. But to get the right corrected compression, we need it to be a 40 thousandths head gasket. You buy this piston from us with our head, run one of those cams, and you put your 30 thou head gasket in there, might be a little hot for the street. We've done the math, this is what we need to run. But those setups, they'll make five to 10 more horsepower, but requires a piston change. You are gonna run the same exact rings that came in the SNS kit. So you're gonna get a new piston, you're gonna get a new pin, you're gonna run a different head gasket, your cam of choice. This guy, gonna start racing three quarter cam. So if you have questions about which cam to run, please fill out the form right here. It'll go to us. Once it comes to us, we'll call you. It takes anywhere from an hour to two days. If it's on a Sunday, it could take up to three days. But everything will be available here on this link right below me to click on our store. You can pick out each product and get it all done. But if you need a little bit more explanation or want a breakdown of the graphs from what we're doing, call the shop, ask for the horsepower team. They're gonna get you with myself, Jamie Lima, Nick Zanola, or Aaron Stottinger. Those are the three guys that have in-depth analysis and all the graphs of what these motor combinations are gonna do for you. Something else to think about is when you're running one of these setups on ported heads, we get a lot of questions. Should I build the lower end? For us, once we add the ported head and we're making real power, we go to the whole lower end completely built. So in this guy is a Man of War flywheel from Dark Horse. This one happens to have our MHP lightning rods that CP Carrillo does for us to our specs, but the stock Carrillo rod they have is a great rod, just a little heavier. It is actually a little stronger. These guys are rated for 190 horsepower, so typically we're not breaking that on a street bike. Both rods are really nice. But if you have questions on those or you need the flywheel, we typically have the flywheels in stock ready to go if you want a man or flywheel. If you need your flywheel built, we gotta build yours because we don't know what condition it's in. We can take care of that and a pair our rods to it. Any questions you have, call the phone number listed here. Click on the button, fill out the form. We'll call you when we're available. But we appreciate the support. If you haven't already, you like everything we do, please subscribe. Put your questions down there in the comments. We'd love to see them. We try to respond to all of them. We do get busy at times, so it does take us a little while. Thank you for watching us, and thank you for your support.